my gosh, I just forgot the name of it. <laughs> oh. Here's our boy helping mom pull weeds and harvest our carrots. Huh, boy? AKA play in the dirt. Huh. Good job, handsome. Good job. Look, Declan. Hey, hey. Oh, you have to pick up the carrots. Get, get the carrots. Oh, good job. Oh, bonk. Okay. Is that fun, boy boy? <laughs> You're so cute. Just standing up there. Babe, he's a cute one. Cute one over there. Hi, Adam. the other day weeding our entire yard and now we are putting mulch all over it so we have a lot of work to do this morning we're covering everything in mulch good job babe oh thanks good job covering everything in mulch yeah so we're just making it look all nice and spick and span we got our boy over here playing in some dirt it's fine we just threw dirt on the blanket over here for our boy to play in. Are you having fun? Are you having fun? Good. Yeah. Yeah. What are you doing, boy? Are you driving the car? Don't you know that's not your steering wheel? Your steering wheel is over here. Come on, buddy. Take me over here. Drive it right. <laughs> <laughs> so he drives both of them. <laughs> Fine, Dad. I got both. So we had to take a break and run to Lowe's real quick because there were a couple things we needed. Um, but we're gonna get those things, take a lunch break, and then be right back to work. Oh yeah. <laughs> hey buddy, we're gonna be turning right up here, okay? Make sure you start turning the wheel. Hey, we're missing our turn. Hey, that was our turn. Buddy, you're not turning. Oh no! We're gonna crash! Oh no! Crash! <laughs> Whoa. What was that? Whoa, He's like, Dad, right where the are tree. you going? All right, guys, so we are all done in the yard today. There is still a lot more that we want to do. But we decided to call it quits, so I put on some makeup, and the baby is sleeping right now. So, um, real quick, I had a request to go over my top mommy and baby must-haves. So, I'm going to go over my top 10 must-haves, and I will try to get um, the information to all of them down below. The first thing that we have that is a must, a must, a must, probably the number one thing that I could not do without is our Owlet baby monitor. For those of you who don't know what the Owlet is, basically there's this little sock that the baby wears around their foot 
and it has a little detection thing in here that keeps track of their heart rate and their oxygen while they're sleeping. So every single night, Declan wears his Alet sock and there's this little device that just sits on the bed next to me. It just clicks on and clicks off. And if the baby's heart rate gets too low or if Declan's oxygen gets too low, this little ring around the outside um, alarms a different color and a certain um, alarm tone. I love it. I don't think I'd be able to sleep without it. It eases my mind knowing that, you know, his oxygen's okay, he's still breathing and stuff like that. So this would probably be my number one mommy slash baby must have. The second thing that I would say is a mommy must have is I don't have it with me, but um, there's a certain type of nursing pad. So um, it is a gel nursing pad and I believe the brand is called Lanouche, Lanache, something like that. <laughs> you can get it at Walmart or Target um, or I'm sure you could find it online, but they are gel pads. It's like um, kind of rubbery on the outside and then on the inside it has like a gel pad. And this isn't one of them because I don't have them anymore because I am not nursing any longer. But when I was nursing, especially when I started, those pads were amazing. They were like the only thing that gave me relief, even above all of the um, nipple creams and everything. You can even wear them for like 72 hours. So you can use one for three whole days and it's awesome. They're a little on the pricey side, but for nursing moms, I would highly recommend them and I will definitely be using them next time. The third thing I would say that we cannot do without are infant Tylenol and ibuprofen. The Tylenol has been amazing for when he's been teething. And then also Declan has been sick a couple times to the point where he's had a sore throat and so he doesn't eat. And when I talked to the doctor about it, he recommended that I use the ibuprofen because it is a pain reliever and it reduces the swelling. And so every time when Declan has a sore throat, I give him the ibuprofen and he eats great. Okay, so the next thing talking about Declan being sick would have to be our nose Frida. So this thing is a true lifesaver. Um, for those of you who don't know what the nose Frida is, Basically, you stick this end of the infant's nostril and then you suck out <laughs> the blockage or the boogers or whatever. There is a little um, filter thing in here so you don't suck up any of the nasty. We do have a nasal aspirator, like a battery operated one and it doesn't even touch it. When they are so stuffy, the nasal aspirator did nothing for us. But the Nose Frida gets it every single time. The trick that I found with the Nose Frida is you need to use saline drops or a good ratio of salt water first. Um, and I just use like a little syringe, like the one that you can get out of your little Tylenol. Um, I just use a little syringe like this and just fill it up a tiny, tiny bit with salt water and squirt it up their nostril. And then I use the nose Frida to suck it out. And this is the only thing that has been able to clear his nose when he's super, super sick and can't sleep. He can't take his binky because he can't breathe through his nose. Or even sometimes he wouldn't be able to drink his bottle or nurse because he couldn't breathe through his nose. So this has been a true lifesaver. The fifth thing that we have really, really liked is our binky clip. We got ours from our baby shower and the brand is actually Lulu Lollipop. I know you can find them on Instagram. They make super cute um, binky clips and teethers and they're super fashionable and ours is actually all made up of teething beads, even the wood. Super, super awesome. Believe it or not, we have never lost a binky yet. And Declan's almost a year old and we have never ever lost a binky. Binky clips, amazing. 
Number six is our baby slings. I have this super cute black and white polka dot baby sling, super, super stretchy. We got ours from Seven. I just found it and ordered it offline, nothing super special. Um, they have tons of cute slings. The number one time I would say I used it and absolutely loved it was when we were in the airport and we traveled to Alabama when Declan was four months old. It was amazing in the airport to just have him on me the whole time, not have to push a stroller, be able to use my hands to pull the luggage. So I absolutely loved our sling when we went to Alabama in the airport. And then our next item, which is actually also a baby carrier, our Tula baby carrier. So it is for a little bit bigger babies and we used this carrier in the airport when we went to Oregon. It was great both times being able to carry the baby on us. Um, not have to have our hands, you know, strapped with baby supplies and stuff like that. And just be able to have our Tula on the front, our backpack on the back. So, this is our other carrier. It is the Tula. And it's super, super cute, gray and yellow. And it's even, like, masculine enough for Aaron to wear. So, he actually wears it most of the time. And I wear it probably only, like, 30% time <laughs> but super super useful and we love it okay so number eight is our baby cam this baby cam is called the lollipop baby cam and I actually found it on Amazon they also have an Instagram so you can go over to their Instagram and check it out but it is called the lollipop baby cam I love it because it's super simple it hooks up to my phone it is a little bit more expensive than a baby cam that you could buy at the store but I have really liked it also you can talk to your baby through it you can play sounds to your baby through it it has like a vacuum the blow dryer wind rain it has all sorts of things it has a great picture and it has worked for everything that we have needed it for So number nine for me is an absolutely, absolutely must have. Not only for baby, but for me. It um, kind of eases my mind like the Owlette, but it is a baby sleeping hammock. So it has little armholes here on the side and then the bottom is all enclosed and it zips up in front of them. So it's kind of like a little vest that goes all the way down around their feet. And I just got mine at Walmart. They're not very expensive. Um, but that was a must have for me. We like to keep our house on the colder side, especially when we're sleeping. And so I didn't want any extra blankets in the crib. That scared me too much. But I was worried that he was going to get too cold. So once we moved Declan into his own room, we had to have a sleep sack. There was no question for me. It has worked awesome, it has totally eased my mind of having him in his own crib, own bed, own room, which I didn't want to do in the first place, but it needed to happen. So this is something that has truly made that transition better for me. All right, so the very last thing um, is kind of silly, <laughs> but Declan loves comfort. He is all about being as comfy as possible when he is sleeping. Um, the first couple times we put him in his crib, we laid him just straight on the mattress and he wouldn't make it through the night. He was waking up probably six or seven times throughout the night. It was really, really hard to even lay him on it and get him to stay asleep. So I knew that we needed something that was a little bit more comfortable. I had seen on Instagram these lounges that are made by Snuggle Me Organic and I thought they were a super good idea and I love them. I think they're super, super cute, but they are kind of pricey and so I didn't want to spend the money on it and so I took an old pillow and I made my own. <laughs> so. 
This is basically, I'll take it out and show you because I have a cover on right now, but it is an old gross pillow that I had that I cut the end open and took out all the stuffing and then I sewed down the center one, two, and three lines and then I put the stuffing back in all the way around and so it's kind of like cushioned around the edges and then when the baby lays in it, it kind of cuddles them or holds them as if you were holding them. This has been an absolute sleep saver for us. Since we have started using it, Declan has slept in his bed so great. Some nights, you know, with every kid, it's a little bit harder to put him to sleep, but when we lay him down, he stays asleep and he sleeps through the night. So that was our goal and it was awesome. It actually took me about one hour to make and it was truly the best thing I could have done for my sleep. Well guys, those were my top 10 mommy and baby must-haves. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment below and I will do my best to answer them for you. All right, everybody, so we are bathed and ready for bed. Declan is down here playing with some of his toys. I think we're just gonna play a little bit and then call it a night. So thank you so much for watching, you guys. If you liked our video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and we will see you guys next time. Bye.